Hey YouTube, so this story is actually from a little while ago, but I figured it was applicable today because I had a prop here. Where's my phone? Ah, found it. This little bad boy is an Samson S5, and I kept it for no reason whatsoever. I believed in the moment that I thought I was going to keep it and be able to potentially use it for something else or give it to a friend, or I don't know what I was thinking when I kept it, but since I've moved from the Samson S Sung S5 to the Samson S Edge, Note, Note 7, then the Edge, and now the Note 8, I figure I can probably part with this. So, I'm going to do a little research tomorrow, find out how much it's worth, find out some things to, and ways to sell it, and then I will sell it. I probably should have sold it back when it was actually worth something, but I didn't. But... Uh, the whole point of this roundabout, kind of haphazard start to this video is that, like Gary Vee said, there's a lot of stuff around your house that you are just keeping for no reason and could actually be sold for something useful. So, I'm going and I'm systematically going through my stuff and selling stuff. I'm also, with my girlfriend, finding things online, well, finding things in stores or garage sales or a variety of other things and selling those things too. Flipping! So, I highly recommend you do it. We have made mm, probably $500 so far, so not a ton, but making our way up there. And so, yeah, but like the thing is, if we can figure out a way of finding good stuff consistently, which is kind of a problem because other people are trying to do it too, but uh, hopefully we can make a decent uh, side hustle with that. And uh, that is a good and it's flexible around a lot of different things, and we can do that while we do other things like DTSS or whatever else. So, highly recommend you try it out. Doing it myself, reasonably rewarding, and very flexible. So, short video tonight, but just about making sure you take care of that stuff. Oh, and actually, I had another story I wanted to share with you. So, this is actually kind of funny. So, I, and I don't think I told it yet, but there was some thing. There were some things that we were looking at in a store, and they were these easy way floor mop things. And they were selling for a total, there were five of them, I believe, and they were $5 each. So a total of $25. Four of them looked brand new. One of them looked like it was used. $5. So we looked online. We thought, oh, you know what? Um, they sell for online. It looked like they sold for something like $400 new. We thought it was probably garbage or that there's no reason that it would be there at the store for $5 or any number of things. And lo and behold, somebody came in that day and bought the four new ones and was like, I could probably make 200 bucks on these each. So, missed it, made a mistake. However, next thing is the people that actually owned that company or owned the original company that started it came in the next day and bought bought the remaining uh, dirty looking one and said that they were going to take it back and take care of it and uh, resell it for parts or whatnot and said these these things were easily worth between two and four hundred dollars and that they buy them every time they see them when they're in the store. So hilarious could have spent twenty five dollars and potentially made I don't know let's say each of them was only worth a hundred dollars. So that means that we would have made 425, pardon me, I can't math, it's, it's, it's my bedtime, it's 8.30, bedtime for me, um, 475 if each one was $5, not counting taxes, and um, could have done that, or it could have been any multiple of that, so if each, were, if each had been $200, then we would have made 9.75, jeez, math is hard right now. Anywho, uh, I'm going to stop trying to math, but you can do the math up to $400 each. So, but that's brand new coming from a factory thing, so you wouldn't have gotten that much for reselling. But, point of the story is, if something is potentially worth $2,000 and it's less, worth, it's less than $25 investment, you might want to consider buying. Although it could be $25 worth of junk. So, don't, I mean, we could have been wrong too. So, you never know. It's it's just one of those things where you have to get used to doing it and trying it out. So, 
There you have it. Be bold, be inspiring, be disciplined. Go get some.